Hi there, welcome back to another random video. This is going to be a random tech video. So more browsing eBay for random miscellaneous things, I came across this item that I'm going to show you today. And I looked at it and went, okay, fair enough. But then it only dawned on me that this idea of a phone and a game put together has been around since 2002. Which brings me to this here. The original Nokia N-Gage device. This is my original one that I got in, I think, 2003 or something like that. I put this mad case on it because I thought it looked really, really cool. Sadly, I don't have the other one anymore, which kind of sucks, and cases are really hard to get for this, but you still get the point of it. And this here could play some titles that were released on this platform. Like, there was a game called Ashen, there was some other racing game, there was a couple of other racing games. There was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, which was actually quite fun to play on here. This was 2002, 2003 that this was released, and this made the idea of a gaming phone possible. And it was a commercial failure. Why? Because the screen is not like that, like the Game Boy Advance was, it's like this. So, and you'd had to use it like that on the side to talk. Yes, it is sticky tape holding the screen protector on, I know. Yeah, you had to talk on the side, which was really odd, and people didn't like it. So it failed. That's what I'm trying to say. So then they released a second one. This one improves many features of the original, except it's still basically the same thing, just in a different shell, and that's really it. I don't think this even has Bluetooth, to be fairly honest. They just kind of got rid of it, but yep, it's here, and this one's in much better condition because I got this a couple of years ago, actually. But why am I talking about all of these? Because what I'm going to show you today is exactly one of these, but a 2019 version. Why does it even exist? Who really knows? It is described in the listing as a PSP game phone, which we all know that the PSP was a popular clone back in, what, 2006, 2007, when everything looked like a PSP, phones and all that sort of stuff. If I can find any images of really weird ones, I'll chuck them in here. And while this device in the listing does, in fact, look kind of like a PSP, it really reminded me more of an N-Gage more than anything, except it has a proper landscape display instead of a portrait one. And there's a cool torch built into it, supposedly. And also, Charlie's Theron will call you. That's what it shows in the pictures. So, if you don't know who Charlie's Theron is, I suggest you Google that name. Because, um, yeah, there's no way she'd be calling you on one of these. Unless you were famous. Okay, so with all that being said, this arrived today. So this is a weird way that some eBay sellers work. They advertise that, you know, the item is actually in my own country. But you buy it, the tracking number says it comes from China. And then you have to wait for it to be delivered from China to you. And yeah, this said it was in another state of my country. And yeah, in fact, it came from China. But it was still quick. It only took five days to get here, which is pretty good. $42 Australian this cost me. And I thought it'd be a good novelty to have a look at and all that sort of stuff. So without further ado, let's crack this thing open and see what this thing can do and unbox it. And this video is going to go for a long time because it says it's got 84 games built in and they're not downloadable, which I don't know what that means, but sure, why not? Maybe it means we can't put any on here. All right, we have a really fancy looking case. Box, sorry, box, it's a box. Wow, 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 whoa, okay. It's a Noel. Hi Noel, how you doing? Uh, this is a game phone with games. There's a crocodile, he's looking very smug. There's a guy with a fedora looking thing on. There's a Plants vs. Zombies, there's stick figures fighting. There's a soldier with a cannon and there's a fucked up Mario. Okay, I imagine this is going to be good. There's a soccer game on there. Uh, some sort of a Wii soccer game by the looks of it, but okay. Games 2019. Yes. See, it looks like an N-Gage, kind of, with a... PS, it's actually got a PS Vita looking back and a camera just randomly plonked right there because why not? Uh, function, FM radio, 6 LED torch. That's kind of what I'm interested in. <laughs> More of a torch, a $40 torch than anything. Uh, 2500 milliamp hour battery, which, yeah, you know, are you going to be playing serious games on this? Probably not. 2.8 inch LCD screen and dual SIM. It's only 2G though, not 3G, which kind of sucks. And we all know that gaming phones in the last couple of years have spiked in popularity due to the mobile platform being the most popular choice for gaming nowadays. It's no wonder that they just thought, well, let's bring this back and try to sell it to some random people like myself. So that's what they did. Anyways, game phone, we've got a crown and it's gold and cute luxury. 
Then we have colors here, which has a little sticker. I don't know what that says, but it has been ticked because I chose blue because blue looked cool. In hindsight, I should have picked gold. Game phone. <laughs> eye in the eye. Just, you know, we won't put it on the box. I never do. On the back here is, oh, it looks like it's just <laughs> been dumped in sand or something like that. But anyways, game phone, games, 2019, function, chipset, SPD. I think it's a Spectrum, I would say. With 32 meg RAM and 32 meg ROM. Woohoo. Game chipset, 64 meg, support 84 games. I'm going to have to say that they're NES games. I could be wrong though. Frequency is GSM, which is 2G. Dual SIM, dual standby, screen 2.8 LCD, camera 30 watts, which probably means that it's like VGA or less. Speaker is a 3040 box. Okay. We have an FM radio, torch light. The item looks pretty slim on eBay, but we'll see. And the colors black, gold, and blue. Obviously, I chose blue. 2500 milliamp hour and supports a micro SD card as well, so you can expand storage if you want. It's up to you. Okay. It is time to finally open this thing and see what we get. And we've. We haven't even started to dig deeper into this thing. I've rambled on about the engage for about 10 minutes. All right, here we go. Oh, shrouded in mystery. More mystery. Okay. Wow, all right. So we do actually get a bit of a hefty battery here. It does have some weight to it. It does say 2,500 milliamp hours. And to be honest, it feels quite... As I said, it feels quite heavy, so I would say that that is probably a 2500 milliamp hour. Pretty good. We have a charger here, which is literally made of nothingness, and we have travel charger, and it, what, it does DC 4 to 11 volts? This thing can pull 11 volts? Yeah, I don't think so, but anyways, that's uh, not relevant because I'm not going to be using this at all. It does have a micro USB connection, so I can charge it with any charger that I have laying around here. Inside the box, we also have the huge ass instruction, actually it's not that big, instruction manual here. If you want to pause and read all this, feel free. I'm just going to pan along to each one of them. We're not going to pay any attention to this unless I really, really need it. But during editing, I'll actually have a read of this and see what it says. But um, it looks pretty funny. But anyways, uh, the games are... Yes, it's NES games. Mario 14, Rockman 3, Chip Dale, Contra. Yeah, it's, it's NES. Like the Supreme phone case I reviewed um, a couple of months ago. Basically the same stuff. But it's a phone as well. Space Invaders. Oh, that's cool. Uh, does it have any repeats? I don't think it does. We'll have a look. But anyways, that is that. That is that. That is that. Everything's that. So with a battery there... And the device. Here we go. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't look like the listing. The back looks like this on the listing, but this is what it looks like. I mean, it's it, it's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. Uh, it's a completely plastic thing, and there is the screen. Wow! It does have actually very big buttons and a massive OK button just there. Um, we have the two main keys there, your numeric keypad, home button, music button. See, this is looking sort of engage like you know. See, engage. Do you get what I mean now? We have a number of different other buttons. There's the dedicated game there. So I'd say it switches from like a normal Java-based operating system to an actual... Um, Nest on a chip that's built in here. There's a playback button here, which you can watch videos and all that sort of good stuff. There's no shoulder buttons. There is a headphone jack, which is impressive. Impressive. Uh, microphone, little lanyard strap there. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's the six LED torch, which we will test as well. And that's really it. The camera is basically just nothing. It'll be a little tiny thing in there that won't do jack shit. Um, the screen, well, yeah, I mean, it's... It looks bigger than 2.4 inches, that's for sure, but we'll get to that. Anyways, uh, let's pry off the back. I did see the little tab. There it is. Removing the back cover, we get access to... Shit, that is a big speaker. That is going to pump out, well, hopefully, decent sound. That is just ridiculous. There's the tiny little camera there, and we have the... Model games 2019 with the dual IMEIs made in China. Of course you are. Dual SIM cards. Uh, they are full-size SIMs, which no one uses anymore. It's all nano SIMs. And then we have the micro SD card slot there. Um, GSM, it says there. 
Uh, that's really it. Wow. So there you go. So what I think I'll do is chuck an SD card in it so we can test the sound, obviously. And I might put a SIM card in here just for the sake of it. And then we'll get this SIM fired up and start testing it. Back soon. All right, let's place the battery back in. Hopefully it is charged. Oh, that added a bit of weight to it. Um, with the SIM card and SD card being inserted, let's clip this back on. All right. How would one turn this thing on? Hey, it's a welcome. We haven't seen... Jesus Christ! Holy crap! I'll have to put a warning that, uh, that is very... Whoa! I hope I don't get a copyright complaint for playing that. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know that was going to happen, did I? That is just stupidly loud. They didn't include a screen protector on it as well, so it's just as it is. That's okay. Okay, so we have a, I'm assuming some sort of plants versus zombie looking wallpaper there. The time looks really cool though. That's a really cool font. Um, otherwise, it says that it's Saturday. It's definitely not Saturday. Um, so if we do this, oh god, this is ugly. So we have a skull looking thing on a notebook. Then we have a coconut with a letter in its mouth. Then we have a flower with a... Okay then, that's fair. Um, you do what you want to do, phone. You do whatever. All right, time for life support. Oh God, no. Oh. No. Oh, thank God. Oh, I avoided that one. All right. So hopefully now that it's on life support, we can keep testing it. As I was saying, a flower with a phone on its head, some mushrooms with some dots on them, we have an evil looking settings cog, then we have a pumpkin looking book, then we have a, another mushroom with headphones on its head, then we have a flower with the play button. If I ever get to 100,000 subs, that should be my play button right there. Uh, we have an evil looking log tree thing with a crown on its head, then we have one of the plants from Plants vs Zombies on there, then we have a calendar with a blue guy on there, then we have this really weird looking plant thing ah uh, that's it okay oh all right we got that out of the way um all right let's start with contacts well it's your basic contact list fantastic messaging standard call logs standard camera 320 by 240 let's see if we can actually change that Oh, we can bump it up to 1280 by 960. Wow. And advanced quality. Oh, can't wait to try that one. quality on the 2019 Engage thing. This is only recording in 176 by 144, so I assume it's going to look really good. Yeah, it's super choppy. Well, at least this actually has a camera. The Engages didn't have a camera. So we have phone settings, date and time, language settings, all that sort of stuff. Nothing super cool in there. Wallpaper. You can choose one wallpaper. Okay, one wallpaper. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. The keypad has lights? Oh, yeah, the keypad is actually backlit as well. It's, I mean, obviously you can't see that, but it is backlit. Game anti-interference. Off, on, and help. Help. When there is a call, text message, alarm clock, when this function is valid. Oh, okay, okay. So shit won't happen if you turn that on. Radio. Connections. Do we have... Hang on, we don't even have Bluetooth on here. No, really? That kind of sucks. My files, please insert a memory card. Yeah, okay, sure. Audio, please insert a memory card. Wait, 
Why is it saying please insert a memory card when I have an SD? Oh, okay, I've just realized that this never works. Every time I put an SD card into a device, it never works. I'll come back and fix it. Application, with torch, calculator, alarm, world clock, memo, STK. That's usually, oh, Bluetooth. Oh, thank God, we, we do have Bluetooth. Uh, torch, open. Yeah, that's fairly bright, actually. That's pretty cool. That's worth it just for that. Games built in, we have Sokoban, or Sokoban, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Calendar, which is basic, and services, which... What? There's actually Twitter? Yahoo? Skype? That's if the SIM card was actually working, you could use the data to go onto Twitter on this thing. Don't know if you'd want to, but you can do that. Alright, um, I need to work out why the SD card doesn't work, so I'm going to fix that. Alrighty, so I have fixed the memory card issue, I believe. Let's just check to make sure. Yes, it is all there, so that is good. We get to test that then. The Women's Coaching Crusade program was launched. Can you tell us a little yeah. bit about Well, FM Radio works. I'm just trying to figure out... That's the AFL oh. Coach Association. Christ. How do I turn the volume down? I really need to turn the volume down on this thing. It is too damn loud. Wonderful. I just read the instructions and you can't turn the volume down. Well, I found out how to change the volume. Holy moly. So my memory card has decided to not work in this again, so... Charger is plugged out. Okay, that's fair. I'll have to fix it now. All right, for nostalgic reasons, I'm going to test Rip and Tear, which is good old Mick Gordon from the 2016 Doom. I used to test this on a lot of phones, but then I changed to no copyright sounds, but I'm going to just switch back to this for this one because it's ridiculously loud. All right, I have this little thing here, which we're going to see how loud it's going to be. So headphone users, you have been warned. Okay, it's ridiculously loud. All right, so far, the speaker is pretty good, I guess. Uh, all the buttons actually feel quite good and responsive. Um, the phone itself is pretty goofy looking, you know, with the whole icon pack there. It's just, you know, yeah, I'm delaying the inevitable. I have to play them, don't I? It's going to suck really bad. Yeah, I mean, music works and all that sort of stuff. The functions, like, that just takes you to menu. That opens up. Hang on. There you go, opens up music. Uh, this here is just, doesn't open up anything. This is for game mode. This plays something, and that's your call button and hang up. That was actually locking it. I didn't know that. But this actually feels good. So I just opened the camera. I guess we're gonna have to play some NES games, aren't we? And uh, see what this thing can do. But I can't test the earpiece or anything on here because, um, can't make phone calls on it. Hmm. I'm not ringing the police either. That's just stupid. See, this and the pen phone are really cool novelties. I I've got to admit that. Plastic, cheap construction with this, but, you know, the battery's heavy and the torch and all that cool stuff. Anyways, I'm um, just delaying that. Let's, let's get onto the Nest stuff. So you press this button and it goes into Nest mode. Um... Okay, I'll read the instructions again. Okay, the instruction manual is not really helping me with this one. I can't seem to access the actual games. There's not just one game on here, it's at 84. I want to play my 84 games. Alright, I'm going to have to play around with this because I have no idea what I'm doing. Wonderful. I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to take it apart and see if there's actually a NES on chip inside of it. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, shut up. Just broke the warranty seal, by the way, but I'm not going to be returning it. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Put that and that. Okay. There it is right there. There's the Nesson chip. That little epoxy blob there is what I was looking for, and that's where it is. So now it's a matter of how the hell do I activate that? If it was my guess, considering it's on this board, I'd say something to do with this one. I still don't have any idea what I'm doing. We've got to get this working somehow. 
Alright, after stuffing around with the device for so long, I couldn't get the NES games to work properly, so I decided to just Google the name of the thing on the box, which was the Null Game Phone, and this video came up from this person here, and I watched the video, and this is how you activate the NES mode. You dial a code, and it switches it to game mode. You accept that, and then you press that, and it switches to game mode. That was not in the instructions anywhere whatsoever. You just have to guess that. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so, uh, it's literally been six months, <laughs> and I've not done anything about this. I had this to the side, and I was gonna finish the review on it. However, I kind of was doing sneakers at the time, and just, just left it. And now that I'm doing tech, I can go back to it and uh, focus on this and finish off doing the video for this because it's been, yeah, six months in the making. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play some NES games on this thing. Oh yeah, by the way, it's a welcome device. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, it's a welcome device, which, yeah, welcome is a staple on this channel now. A lot of devices are welcome devices. So welcome. Welcome, welcome. So as per the video, it is star hash eight eight hash. And then it says succeeded. Then you go exit or okay. And then you go back and then you press game. And then it says okay. And then we are in game. Yay, there's game. So we have Mario 14, Rockman 3, Turtles 3, pretty much everything that you've seen in the instructions. But there is 84 games and I don't think any of them are repeated. I don't think there were the instruction manual. But let's, of course, try Mario 14, because, I mean, if we count all the sequels on Wii and Wii U and uh, all that stuff, so, yeah, we're up to Mario 14, it's about, it's about right. Oh, okay. So, I think, like, that's, pl okay, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I believe someone just jumped on a keyboard and went, Yeah, it's good. It sounds good. This music is almost as good as the uh, Resident Evil director's cut by that guy who was a uh, ghostwriter or whatever he was. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I can... Whoa. Hang on. I can't jump on... Why can't I jump on... Mate, they're the, they're the things I'm supposed to be jumping on. Why, you know? Oh, fine. I'll just ricochet shit. That's fair. That's better. Okay, so then, how do we get back to main menu? Do we just press that? Do we hold? Just, oh, okay, okay. Let's try Contra. Oh, I'm not gonna try every single game because obviously, well, reasons. Um, but let's try Contra. Um, play. Cool. Coolio. This is is this Contra? Looks like it. I think so. No, it's not Contra. Yes, it's Contra. Dude, why? What? Maybe they changed the region name. I don't know. I really don't know. Yep. Okay. Understood. All right. Let's shoot shit. Fuck everything up. Hey, look, it plays NES games, so that's cool. Is let's select. Oh, bridge, bridge, dying. That's okay. I can swim. Yeah. Well, you get the point of it, I think. So, uh, oh, there's ah, there we go. That's the reset. Okay. Yeah. Well, that that's fair. Um, let's try Super Contra 241 because. There's 241 of these, obviously. No, there. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, it works. Oh, this this is Super Contra. Well, I, I, I'm assuming so. Oh yeah, damn. Oh, I can't shoot that, okay. 
Look, honestly, the buttons feel quite responsive. Yeah, they're a bit sort of clicky, but that's kind of the feedback I feel is kind of good. I like it. I just wish you could put more NES games on it. That would be really cool, but, you know. Can I, can I jump? Yeah, okay. What else can we possibly try? Oh, Contraforce. Okay. Uh, oh, Small Mario. What's Small Mario? Hang on. Oops. Okay. I don't think Super Mario Brothers is actually on here, so let's just... Um, Ah, it, Small Mario is a slot machine. Okay. Ninja Gaiden's also one here. I mean, it's kind of questionable as to if these NES games are actually what's supposed to be on here. And as I said, I'm not going to go through every single one of them. But I will try Angry Birds because, uh, reasons. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy moly. Is that a website there? www.touchgameplayer.com they made this. Uh, I would select that episode, please. Yes, cool. All right, fabulous. Yep. Oh, shit, no. Oh, this is god awful. Hey. Okay, that's good enough. You know what? say anything. I've played a Java version of Angry Birds. I've played the actual official Angry Birds. I've played a NES port of Angry Birds. Uh, what is next? Come on, surely Tetris has to be on here. Uh, start. Yes. I just pressed start a bunch of times. Yeah, this is Tetris. Cool. That's all right. I thoroughly enjoyed that, actually. That's quite nice. Oh, I tried Angry Bird 3. Maybe I should try Angry Bird. Ah. Beautiful. Anger Bird. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Anger Bird. Uh, yep. Uh... What the hell's the point of this? Okay. There's a platform or something? Oh, oh. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I get what's going on. Okay, that's, that's fair. I finally will end it off with Space Invaders. Good old Space Invaders. And it's the actual NES one as well, of course. Yeah. That works. It's good. Oh, no, hold it. And there we go. Back to it, and then I press this, 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 and then that changes it back to the original mode, which uh, I actually didn't play the game. So that's Sokoban or Sokoban or however you pronounce it. Uh, oh, I was already. Oh no, yeah. Well, that's the default game, anyways. So, but you, if you want to actually change to NES, it's star hash eight eight hash, and that does it. Okay, so a conclusion of this thing, considering I haven't played around with this in six months and I've now just played around with it, it's actually not too bad. I think it's probably cheaper now than what I actually paid for this back in July of 2019. It's still reasonably good. I mean, it's 2G, but what you could do if you knew what you were doing is replace the epoxy blob in here with another epoxy blob of NES on a chip and then boot into that with like 100 NES games or something, like a custom one or something. Uh, that would be good. 
Otherwise, you could use this as just like a dedicated Bluetooth speaker or something. That might work too. Or just literally have it as a novelty. I think it's more of a novelty than anything because it's just like, here's a gaming phone that you don't have to pay literally more than 30 bucks for and you get 84 NES games and well, that's really it. And all the buttons and stuff feel quite responsive. They feel like phone keys, like off an old Nokia sort of thing, you know, very clicky and all that sort of stuff, but they're quite nice. Fits well in the hands and it's, well, it's plasticky. It is kind of grippy. And the torch, well, the torch is kind of good too. So you could, you know, torch. I don't know. You can do what you want with it. But look, overall, it's it's a, it's a cool novelty. It's like the pen phone, as I mentioned, which I haven't looked at in six months either. It's a good novelty. And if you have someone that kind of likes this sort of stuff, I, I think it's, you know, fairly reasonable for the price. You could probably find it pretty cheap. A lot cheaper than what I originally paid for this. And... Yeah, if you wanted to somehow modify this, I mean, that would be pretty cool. Get rid of this uh, crappy theme going on here. Uh, well, reasonable theme. I don't know, because there's two boards in here. It's LCD, two boards, all connected and all that sort of stuff. So, I don't know. Could be a good mining project. If anyone's going to modify this, please let me know down in the comments, because that'd be quite interesting to see if anyone can do anything with this. You know, turn it into something more reasonable than just... 84 NES games on a chip that don't even have Super Mario Brothers. I really wanted to play that too. I did check each individual game and there is no Super Mario Brothers. There's just all Chinese clones of actual games and just real oddball ones. If you want to actually see a, a detailed video of just all the games on this, let me know down in the comments. I'll, I'll do one. I don't mind. Uh, it'll be painful, but I don't mind. I think I've spoken about everything I can on this device, this PSP Game Phone 2.8 thing I got off eBay six months ago, and here it is. And um, it's, it's not half bad. Let me know down in the comments if you would actually buy one of these or not, just as a novelty or something. Too bad I couldn't have made a phone call on it, though. That would have looked absolutely stupid holding this up to my ear, but ah, so be it. Alrighty. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it, and I hope it's not too long. There's always timestamps in the description and then pin comment as well, so feel free to have a look through that and skip through things and stuff like that. But I shall finish this off with... Hang on. Bing, bing. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching it again. I really do appreciate it. Take care of one another. Be good people. And I'll see you all in the next video, which should be something tech related. So stay tuned. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.